Hey guys, it's Space Ideas Revolutionized here today, and today we're going to be talking about the Orion spacecraft. So, the Orion spacecraft is the new NASA spacecraft for astronauts. It's supposed to take us to moon, to the moon, and and also Mars. So, yeah. Like like I just said, the Orion's job is to sp um the spacecraft will play an important part in NASA's journey to Mars. So, meaning so NASA recently announced its to, um, moon to Mars mission. So we're gonna be taking off. So no, so we're gonna be first going to the first going to the moon, and from the moon we're gonna go to Mars. If we are taking off from the moon, that will be better because the main reason rockets are so big, and why we need so much fuel, why they're so much heavy, so heavy, is because we have to lift off of Earth's gravity. Earth's gravity is equal to one. 1 g g is like gravity um but how they like say that's numbers so and the moon as you guys know is has way less gravity than the actual the earth does and we can that's why we can make the rockets lighter and smaller and that would be really good so orion will carry astronauts further into the solar system than ever before orion will carry astronauts into outer space and then return them to to the earth orion will able to go to asteroids or Mars meaning that we can study asteroids we can send astronauts to asteroids with this um, rocket it's extremely unique and in the next slide I'm gonna it's basically a picture explaining how the rocket looks like and everything so it says mankind on the way to moon and beyond um so as you guys can see um, a little like picture there. It says NASA Space Launch System, the SLS rocket. That's the rocket's name, but the mission's called like Orion, I think, something like that. And the European Service Module will also be on it. So it's a very complex system. It's going to be really advanced and it's going to take us to a lot of places, I hope. And advancing uh, mankind so um it has a lot of stuff like this picture from ESA um like their parts of it and as you guys can see on the top of it like where the European service module is it shows like a circle there it looks that's a truck sorry um so that thing what that thing is um I don't know if you guys can see it like the thing which goes on top of the um um, command module right that's actually like their escape system so say if anything goes wrong in the rocket it's gonna detach and it's gonna it basically has like sort of like thrusters in it and it'll land the um, thing if anything goes wrong with the parachutes maybe um, or the rocket and on the side you have a beautiful picture of Orion passing the moon which is basically its job and yeah, it's gonna have solar po powers on it. Um, also, this isn't really related to this, but SpaceX is making a lot of advancements in the um on their uh, Starship, Starhopper. Like um, uh, like I I say, like two weeks back, they completed a 150 meter Starhopper test. That was a major success. That they were testing the engine's gim gimbaling system. Is like not the rocket moving, but actual the rocket engine moving. Um, there's a um difference between them you can go watch our um how do rockets work and the rocket propulsion um post on our website or you can also watch the video if you guys understand videos more so let's move on to the next slides so again what will uh, um orion do asteroids or mars that's really spectacular in my opinion so orion has three parts the upper section is the launch abort system or las what i was talking about and it's really complex guys like even I'm having like a little trouble understanding it so you have solar rays auxiliary engines service module RCS thrusters CM slash SM umbilical that's really advanced I, I don't know what that is yet so the solar rays four independent independently gimbaled folding ray arrays ensuring an uninterrupted solar power to Orion so it will also be connecting uh, collecting energy like mostly like everything which goes to space so flight deck 
is going to be advanced with advanced technology in it too and that's I find that really good so I mean in my opinion this rock is going to do really good this mission is going to do really good because it's by NASA and the last time we saw something by NASA was the space shuttle like taking astronauts from US soil to space was the space shuttle which retired in I believe 2012 2011 right and I think NASA is coming back into this because recently um, the Senate bill they gave NASA 22.75 billion dollars to fund this everything next year and they're gonna NASA employees are gonna work really hard so we can advance mankind so you guys like this post and want to see more um, be sure to check out our website link in um, the description I have bio here because this was one of our Instagram posts and remember to drop a follow on Instagram Twitter and thanks guys for watching I hope you guys learned something and yeah bye guys